Hey friends, Andy here. How you doing? Good to see ya. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Bitcoin and the stock market had a baby? That's the kind of question that keeps me up at night. If it keeps you up at night, and I'm sure it has, then you're gonna love today's video. We're gonna be talking about stock tokens, the latest blockchain brainchild that lets users buy stocks sort of, in the form of crypto-based tokens. Quick spoiler alert, right now stock tokens are a pretty limited application. There are only a handful of publicly traded stocks available as tokens, and if you're a resident of China, Turkey, or wait for it, the United States, you can't buy them anyway. At least not until the Securities and Exchanges Commission wraps up its regulatory power around a concept. However, they're probably going to become a lot more mainstream very soon. So this is definitely a technology that you'll want to keep an eye on. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what they are, how they work, the advantages and disadvantages, stay tuned. I'll explain more about what stock tokens are, how they're different from regular stocks, and why you should care. But before I get too far into all that, we have some important business to take care of. That like button needs the warm embrace of your cold digital mouse clicker. Please give it some love so that this video can be seen by more people. It helps out a ton and I really appreciate it. Now let's find out what happens when a blockchain and the stock market love each other very, very much. I'm not going to go deep into the technology here, but let's lay the groundwork with a quick look at the differences between coins and tokens. The terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but they serve different purposes. Coins operate on their own blockchain, Ether on the Ethereum blockchain and Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain and so forth. And while there are a few nuances from one cryptocurrency to another, Generally speaking, coins are a form of money. Tokens, on the other hand, are created on existing blockchains. Right now, the majority are created on Ethereum, but that could change in the future. There are several other types of tokens. Obviously, today we're talking about stock tokens, but you may hear the term equity token being thrown around as well, sometimes interchangeably with stock token. In a nutshell, equity tokens represent ownership of an asset or property, anything from literal property as in real estate to digital assets such as stocks, options, or futures. Stock tokens are simply a subset of equity tokens. Just like the name implies, they represent stock in a company. So think of stock tokens more as a specialized version of equity tokens. Equity and stock tokens are non-fungible, meaning that each one represents something different and the blockchain technology is used to certify it as unique. You may remember earlier this year, non-fungible tokens or NFTs, hit the news when Nyancat sold for over half a million dollars. Not to be outdone by a flying rainbow cat, this April, Binance, the world's biggest Bitcoin exchange, launched its first stock tokens for, wanna guess which company? Given the techno king's love of all things crypto, it would probably come as zero surprise that it was Tesla. And soon enough, Tesla was joined by Apple, Microsoft, Coinbase, and MicroStrategy. All the stock tokens listed on Binance are issued and sold by CM Equity AG, a German asset company that holds the actual stock that the stock tokens represent. Now, when it comes to stock tokens, Binance isn't the only game in town. FTX and Bittrex Global are two other crypto exchanges that offer stock tokens. FTX offers tokens for 36 stocks and Bittrex offers 40. Compared to the actual stock market, they all have pretty limited offerings, but that's likely to change in the near future as stock tokens become better known and more widely accepted. When you buy one of these stock tokens, it's pegged to the value of the actual stock on the stock market, meaning you can buy it and sell it, benefit from stock splits and even earn dividends on it, just the way you would with regular stock. Which brings us to the $64,000 question, why not just buy the stock? You can, and maybe for now, you should. In practical terms, stock tokens don't have huge benefits over regular stocks for most of us yet. The key word here is yet. Stock tokens are probably going to become a lot more popular very soon, so let's look at some of the ways things could change. For one thing, stock tokens and the exchanges they're traded on allow you to buy a piece of a stock. You don't have to buy the whole thing. For example, Tesla is currently trading for over $600 a share, which might be a little bit rich for some of us, but Binance allows you to buy stock tokens in increments of one one hundredth of the stock price meaning you can own a sliver of Tesla for roughly the cost of your favorite deli sandwich, making it easier for Joe Investor to own parts of major companies. But don't forget that quite a few trading platforms let you buy fractional shares of traditional stocks anyway. 
So while fractional shares are nice, they're not the stock token's biggest selling point. Right now with Binance offering tokens for just six companies, and even with Bittrex offering 40, that's still not a lot to choose from. But remember, all these companies are just getting started. In the future, you'll be able to use a single platform for both cryptocurrency trading and most of all your stock trading, potentially simplifying your finances, accounting, and taxes. As of now, Binance only offers you the ability to trade during the standard trading hours and days, but Bittrex and FTX let you trade your tokens 24 seven. Now, like fractional shares after hours trading isn't unheard of in the traditional stock brokerage world, but as stock tokens pick up steam, this kind of 24 seven trading may well become the standard. A bigger deal is that stock tokens have the potential to open up markets to a global audience. In many countries, investors don't have easy access to the US stock market, and even if they do, it's often expensive to get access to those securities. Stock tokens will allow pretty much anyone with access to a computer to invest in pretty much any company they like. Between fractional shares, zero commission trades, global access, and 24 seven trading, stock tokens have the potential to level the playing field and make investing in the stock market a much more democratic process. The biggest downside, of course, is that currently residents of the United States, as well as China and Turkey, can't participate. There's a very good chance that will change in the relatively near future, but for now, it's not an option. Another thing to consider is that currently when you buy stock tokens on one of the exchange platforms, you get all the economic benefits of stock ownership, but none of the legal rights. You don't get to vote or attend shareholder meetings, for instance. Of course, let's be honest, the vast majority of shareholders don't do those things anyway, so that's probably not that big of a downside. It's also entirely possible for companies to create stock tokens of their own that do give you legal rights, and it's something we may see more of in the future. A bigger concern may be that none of these exchanges are protected by the SIPC. That's the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, which acts as a kind of insurance policy. In the event that a brokerage where you keep your assets goes belly up, the SIPC will work to make sure you get your securities and cash back. But if you have all your investments with Binance or Bittrex and the company fails, you might be out of luck and out of money. Finally, one more thing to keep in mind, the stock tokens you own are unique to the exchanges on which you buy them. Bittrex, Binance, and FTX all offer Tesla stock tokens, for example, but you can't move your FTX Tesla token over to Binance or vice versa, nor can you transfer the stock token to a traditional brokerage account. So that's the nutshell version of stock tokens. Right now, they're kind of a novelty item that isn't even accessible to a large chunk of the planet's population. However, that's likely to change very quickly. Obviously, there are still some regulatory hurdles to iron out, but the SEC will probably approve stock tokens sooner rather than later, and the number of companies available as stock tokens will probably soar in the near future. If you found this review and info helpful, please like the video and subscribe for more money-related content on my channel. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter, where I post original content every single day. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.